official mob talk, Atlanta. We're here for another mob talk. Oh, yeah. We're in the eighth, and we're bringing up a few different issues. One, starting with a 13 year old boy with autism that was shot in the back by the police. Um, five, six times, I think. And they got him laid up in the hospital. He, he, he's a kid, and they shot him in the back five times. Autistic kid. Yeah. Autistic kid. So, I mean, how do you explain that? Like, what can you say to make anybody feel better about why they felt like they had to shoot this little kid in the back? Yeah, especially knowing that he's a kid. And it did really, it does matter that he had autism, but it's just the fact that he's a kid. How can you shoot a kid that shows no, like, there's just no care in the world? Well, I think that, first off, what what led to it? All right, well, let's see. He's 13. Let's take a second to watch the videos and see exactly what happened or what they allegedly say happened. All right. All right. Friday night in Glendale, Bolda Barton called police to help her with her son. It was less than five minutes. <laughs> How could it have escalated in less than five minutes? He was running away. He was running away. Barton says her 13-year-old son, Lyndon, was running from police because he was scared. He didn't want to be taken to the hospital. Lyndon has autism and Asperger's and was extremely upset. Barton called the police and asked for a crisis intervention team that knows how to deal with people with mental health issues, okay? So you call them, and they're supposed to come out and be able to de-escalate a situation um, using the most minimal force possible. Telling officers her son needed to be taken to the hospital for treatment. He said, look, he's, he's unarmed, he doesn't have anything, he's, he's, he, threat he just gets mad and he starts uh, yelling and screaming. Try he's a kid, he's trying to get attention, he's, he doesn't know what, how to regulate. When police arrived, her son ran away. One Salt Lake City police officer fired their weapon. And I hear, get down on the ground, get down on the ground, get on the ground, go, 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 go. Mm. So they just like straight and bust and shot. Police yeah. said they So basically he has basically he has autism and he can't handle this up. So they shot him because they didn't know how to handle him. Right. Which is not right at all. That's not how you saw it. That doesn't justify oh. shooting that kid. Man. Why would you go straight to lethal force with a child? Like, this is a little kid. You could have, like, grabbed him or tackled him or right. anything. Yeah. Yeah. No. You know what I mean? Just grab him. He's a, grab he's a little kid. Down. You big grown ass man, yeah. police officer. Get, you that scared of mm. a little kid? Like, just grab him. He can spaz out and do all he want to do, but you can't even have to shoot him. Can't go nowhere. Right. You gotta kill him. You know what I mean? Just like she said, uh, they didn't like approach the situation in a, you know, with a clear head. Because if they did, it would have like thought rationally about shooting that boy. I mean, that's where the training comes in. That the most important aspect of being a police officer, I believe, not just to protect and serve the public, mm -hmm. but that training comes into play when you got to make these rational decisions, these jerk right. speed decisions. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like the mother said, the boy didn't have no weapon. He's a 13-year-old. I'm sure they got the, the memo as soon as they popped up the, to the scene. Okay, this is a kid we're dealing with, an armed, armed kid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just put the guns away off yeah, top. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Shouldn't even be reaching for no gun, yeah, man. That was the last thing you even, I don't understand it's that. fucking coward. Best thing he could have done was talk to him. Right. You know what I mean? And he if, he was scared, if he was scared off the rip, that means you did something to scare him. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kids, right. they get scared and they want to be around, but if you approach a child in the right manner, there won't be no type of fit in that. Right. You know what I mean? As long as you know what to say. If he got autism and he going off the going off the leisure like that, I have a cousin that has autism like that. That goes off the leisure. Mm -hmm. Sit sitting down and talking to him. That's all they need. That's all I do with my Right. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And I mean it's it's good the boy survived, but he could still die in the hospital. Right. Exactly. With the type of injuries he got. Yeah, it is broke play. Like, yeah. That's something that, as a child, shouldn't be tampered with. Did we get any justice justice for the kid? Anything happen, like, as far as um, something to the officer? They won't even release the body cam, so they ain't even trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to sweep it on the road. So next, you know, there's something that came up on the table, too, recently about some the guy in Wisconsin, y'all remember the shooting? Death of him. Yeah. I think he got hit the back about 10 times too, right? Going back to his car? Yeah, something like that. 17 or something. You don't think he died? I don't think he 
he died, I think he's paralyzed from the way he's down for the rest of his life. So what happened in that situation you heard? Uh, I heard he was uh, supposedly breaking up a fight. And as breaking up a fight between two women, the police officers were called. And when they got there, uh, they basically tried to say that he was a part of the situation. And it led to him going to his car, which he had his kids in it. And his kids were in the car? Yes, his kids were in the car. And he was trying to get to the car to his kids. And they shot him because they did not want him to proceed to go in the car because they wanted to speak to him about the situation. So, really, so really it got out of hand for no reason. Right. They basically yeah, they shot him in the back because he wouldn't cooperate and talk to them whenever they wanted to talk to him. Right. Let's take a second to see this video. Started off really was 
this is how it was. You know, everybody was watching it and they were seeing what the hell was going on and they reported it, which should have been reported. Yeah, hey, this is fucking, this is child porn. So it's a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. It's called Cuties. Netflix original. They took it down. But uh, I think you should, I think you should be able to uh, see it on any other various website. I kind of feel like they're trying to normalize that shit by putting it out like that. Yeah. Pedophilia is not a thing. They're starting to see a lot of stuff going on where they're marking cars with like babies and women. Yeah. And, you know, they kid, they taking this. It's it's so out like now to where they kidnap so people in the daytime. So like propaganda, like mm-hmm. they're using the mainstream media to normalize the situation. Yeah. That should never be normalized. Like, it's not okay. Really shouldn't even have children in the same room as adults. When I was growing up, you couldn't even be in the same damn room. Right. You had to go your ass outside or go in there with the kids the or room, something. Be in the same room. So yeah. In the same room. Yeah, you know that. Man. Did y'all hear that? Uh, I don't know how true it was, but something like 60 kids got found in the back of a trailer going to uh, Europe or something like that. Mm-hmm. But I did yeah. hear um, yeah. it was supposed to be. You in your trap? Yeah, like 61 kids. Now, I don't know how true it is, but it's so, because I've seen somebody say it could be fake news too. But it just so happened to pop over my news feed. You know, you wake up in the morning, you see them top most topics that they speak about for the day. Yeah, and that was one of them. Yeah, but when I read and read, when I went in depth with the article, it was saying how this happened. But then at the bottom, it was like, okay, so, you know what I mean? It was like, maybe this could be fake. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have heard of yeah. it, but I want to speak about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is a definite no-no, bro. Cuties, I'm glad they took it up there. Yeah, that's a no. I hope they that's keep it up there. Note. And so hope they don't want to see Because even though kids have to live through that, still, man, when, when the pedophiles watch shit like that, they get excited. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they, and it, and it, make it, it makes it like they want more. And right. It makes it like you give them power. It's right. How they can. Not only is it big to the world, now you can, it's like globally. Watch it. I didn't want it. Nobody, yeah, yeah, nobody can be, nobody can be fine for it. Nobody's being seen to actually in this. And Who's gonna be the biggest fans? Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm storming a bit of that movie theater. And you'll be amazed. How just dislikes like versus likes. Is in this video. You know, you see the likes and you wonder like, yeah, who like that about people? Yeah. Right. Right. You gotta be a certain type of motherfucker to like something. It should be killed. Yeah. I mean, they can display. That's it. And they get the least amount of time for every time they get caught. A journey they get, get caught more over time. and over and over. And they get more time selling a 20 rock than the shit they be doing. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. When, I was, when I was doing time, I seen, I know this man, that his name was, uh, well, I would say his name on camera, but. Nah. Doink. Doink, your name. Yeah, he's a fucking pedophile. Mm-hmm. And he had was he was caught with the semen inside of this child. Probation yeah. for five years. Off with his head. They Probation. Gave me, they gave me a year in prison. Probation for five years. See, that's just sad. That's just sad. See, we're gonna keep fighting for justice for kids and you know, all type of other inhumane situations that happen amongst human beings. They should put him in the street and kill him. That nigga would have made it there. All right, so moving along, let's talk about one of the most elite and upcoming rise to fame, like actors. I mean, he's just a he was just the most precious soul to ever like walk the face of this earth, and he just happened to transcend into the next realm. Let's give it up for Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. From straight out of South Carolina, to Anderson. Yeah, I mean, I can't really say nothing bad about that man. Just good at what he did. I don't think there's anything bad to say about it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I got something bad to say. He made one of the greatest. Passed on too fast. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I feel like it was about to be like new Denzel. You yes. Know what I'm He's bringing the new aspect. He had, uh, like, I mean, I had never seen him. Um, <laughs> not. To, I never seen somebody put themselves in a role so much. When they, you know what I'm saying? In a movie, any type of movie. And he did all different types of movies. Saying from uh, like the five bloods, mm-hmm. that's that shit was hard. 21 bridges, 21 bridges. Everybody know Black Panther, 
Black I'm about to say Panther. Can't forget Jackie Robinson. Now forget Jackie Robinson. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know. One, and my favorite movie of his was Get On Up. Yeah, yeah. man, Get On Up. Like James, James Brown. Brown. James <laughs> Brown. <laughs> that shit was that he. I couldn't even imagine nobody else playing that role. Like that's how deep he was in that shit. And it was like, I seen that movie probably about four or five times, man. Mm-hmm. Cause it's just that dope. Like the way it's written, the way he acted. You think he was James Brown? You know what I'm saying? It was dope like that. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Well, the man was born November 29th, 1977. He unfortunately passed away mm-hmm. August 28th, 2020. He was. Worth approximately twelve million dollars. You know what? It, he was worth just priceless. You know what I'm saying? Because a man like him, he was made to be a king, yeah. and he inspired people like us to go on to be and do better, bigger and better things. Yeah. You know, he's actually. From, I never met the guy, but he made me a better person just from watching his truth. And he, uh, he kept everything to himself. He ain't really go out there looking. Ain't let nobody know. He ain't want nobody feeling sorry for him. He ain't make no excuses. He went and made some of the best movies ever made. While he was dying. While he was dying. Right. While he was dying. And nobody knew. It goes, it goes to show he loved life, right? Right. He went about letting nothing hold him back. I mean, that's the, like, if that don't, if, if that don't give you an example to damn be uh, a better person or just, like, how can you make excuses? This man was dying from cancer for four years. And he made, I mean, straight box office hits. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these movies accumulated billions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Had, had the most top selling movie still. Right. So, and it was one of our first black superheroes. So, right. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Was it, was it, was it? One of our first. Took the top? One of our first. As what? Well. The top broke in game. In game, yeah. did that take the top? Okay, yeah, yeah, but Endgame still, was, yeah. but still, you got you got all these Marvel but characters. But I mean, Black Panther said first part. one, he was in the in game, so technically, yeah, he yeah. aided in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. you had to put all yeah. them in one movie just got to, to add up to his <laughs> one, one right? Got, got to, exactly. got to, exactly. That's crazy. So, uh, but you know, yeah, our PJ goes on. Very inspiring, man. Yeah, rest in peace. Tune in, all right?